Awesome. Danny, Success. welcome to the AU Review. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We are sitting here a couple of weeks out from the release of your self-titled debut record. We were just saying it's been a long time in the making. How far back does some of these songs go? Uh, yeah, the oldest song on the record is probably like five years old. But it's not like I've been writing the album constantly that whole time. Um, probably been writing it solidly for the last two, maybe three years. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's kind of a, a long spread of, uh, of, yeah, it's been a long journey. You've got a couple of guest vocalists on the record. I'm going to pronounce her name wrong, but Bridget Amofa. Amofa? 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 I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those names where you've probably read it a million times, yeah. but not said it out loud very often. Um, and Montgomery on uh, All I Need. Um, talk me through a little bit about bringing them onto the record and, and what that collaborative process is like um, as, a, as a songwriter. Um, yeah, both of those particular ones were like I had the song written and... I really, I was like, you know what, this would sound great with a female vocalist on it as well. Um, and so, yeah, it was kind of a case of finding the most appropriate vocalists for the song. Like Montgomery did an amazing job. We were looking, I was looking for something like super vulnerable and um, yeah, breathy and, and something that gets in your ear and, and is really quite beautiful and so she did an amazing job on that and then with Bridget Amofa like I got hooked up with her in a writing session in London writing for her stuff and then uh, then we kept in touch and she sings live for Rudimental and so when Rudimental were touring uh, during the, uh, the Brisbane leg or the Queensland leg um, I yeah I reached out and I was like oh if you're free I've, I've got this song that you sound amazing on and yeah, so we got a studio and she came out on the day of the show and smashed it. Just She's got an incredible voice, just crazy, crazy, crazy voice. When it comes to the album as a whole, it really feels like an album. It's, I mean, as much as this goes back five, five years, some of the music, it, it, if you could have written it in a, in a week and, and we wouldn't know. Um, how important was, was it for you, for your debut record, to really get that track list right and get that those songs right so i imagine i mean you, you've got the tracks for this record but i imagine you've got dozens more that yeah, didn't make absolutely. the cut yeah pretty much wrote like yeah maybe three or more albums worth of, <laughs> of, of tunes but i wanted to i mean i had a lot of self-imposed pressure um, i just wanted to create something really great and something that was honest to me and something that i was really happy with but you know, like what made me happy and what was honest to myself kept changing throughout that process. So I think it was really hard to land on something cohesive and be truly happy with everything. Um, and so, yeah, it took a long time, but now I'm at a stage where I'm, I'm super proud of the body of work I've put together. And, and uh, yeah, I just hope people really like it. I hope people, I can get people's attention to, to have a listen to it, essentially. One thing that I think sets you apart uh, from a lot of the other uh, song songwriters and producers in your genre are your lyrics. There's um, as much effort put into the words of the song as you know as there is the the melody and and the, and the production value, um, which isn't always the case with with this genre, which sometimes is the same lyric over and over and over again. <laughs> um, no, by now in particular is is a track that struck me as this really beautiful, beautiful song. Um, yeah, that's always been been your way, though, hasn't it? In terms of trying to yeah. actually bring an emotional and meaningful lyric totally. to what you're doing. Yeah, I think um, being emotive and evocative for the for the listener. That's I mean, yeah, that's the way I find it easiest to connect with the listener. Well, not easiest, but um, it's just kind of essentially what I always seem to do is, is gravitate towards those more sort of vulnerable topics. Um, I don't know why, it just happens that way. But yeah, yeah, so I definitely try to reflect on my own life and the lives of people around me and, and anything going on uh, in a really honest way. I don't know, I, I hope that, uh, that people sort of understand it and can connect with it. That's my, always my aim. Mm.